Hey guys, today I will be teaching you the effect of gyroscopic couple on aeroplane. Here I have drawn the top view of the aeroplane. This is the nose and this is the propeller. And uh, we have taken this as a convention for direction of viewing. The first case is the engine of the propeller rotates in clockwise direction when seen from the rear or the tail end. So when we are seeing from this side, the propeller rotates in clockwise direction. So according to the right hand thumb rule, as it is rotating in clockwise direction, the velocity vector will be in this direction that is towards the right. So I will draw a vector to the right. Now it is written that the aeroplane takes a turn to the left. That is the aeroplane takes a turn to the left like this. So the velocity vector will be in this direction that is this so the active gyroscopic couple will be in this direction this will induce the reactive gyroscopic couple to be in this direction as the active gyroscopic couple is in this direction according to the right hand thumb rule the gyroscopic effect tends to raise the tail of the aeroplane and dip the nose of the aeroplane and the reactive gyroscopic couple is in this direction and according to the uh, right hand thumb rule it will cause to it will uh, tend to raise the nose and dip the tail of the aeroplane I have drawn the side view of the aeroplane here so the result of active gyroscopic couple will be like this and the effect of the reactive gyroscopic couple will be like this. The second case, the engine or the propeller rotates in clockwise direction when seen from the rear end. That is, if you are viewing from this end, the engine is rotating in clockwise direction. So according to the right hand thumb rule, it will cause the plane to move in this direction. So the velocity vector will be like this. and the aeroplane takes a turn to the right so as the plane is moving in this direction it takes a turn to the right so the velocity vector will be in this direction so this will be the active gyroscopic couple and this will be the reactive gyroscopic couple since the active gyroscopic couple is in this direction and according to the right hand thumb rule the effect tends to dip the tail of the aeroplane and uh, raise the uh, nose of the aeroplane. Since the reactive gyroscopic couple is in this direction, according to the right hand thumb rule, the effect tends to raise the tail of the aeroplane and dip the nose of the uh, aeroplane. Again, I have drawn the side view of the aeroplane here. This will be the effect of the active gyroscopic couple and this will be the effect of the reactive gyroscopic couple.